Hello friends, today we are going to see web services in web methods. A web service is a collection of functions that are packaged as a single unit and published to the network for the use by other programs or the other external systems. In web method, we can create a web service using web service descriptors. So what is web service descriptor? Web service descriptor encapsulates all the information required by the provider or the consumer of the web service like data types, message format, protocols and etc. So let's see the web service descriptor in our designer. Go to your designer. Let's create a folder called WSD. And we'll create one web service descriptor. Let's say demo WSD. And here we can see that we can create web service descriptor as provider or a consumer in this video we will focus on provider web service descriptor and we'll see both the web service sources first one is existing IA service and wsdl so what is provider web service descriptor so provider web service descriptor will expose IA services as a operation which can be published as a single web service to the external users now here we will select existing IS services so for this purpose we will use our previously created service at double quotes and comma now here we can see that we can define the different binder details so in which we have like soap version transport and styles and all so soap version 1.1 and 1.2 so there are some basic difference between both so let's discuss this here we can see that uh, soap 1.1 request and 1.2 request so here the major difference is 1.2 uses soap xml application slash soap plus xml and it uses 1.1 uses text slash xml and it uh, this new one uh, soap 1.2 request does not use soap action header line soap 1.2 uses this schema as envelope namespace and 1.1 uses this schema as envelope namespace so these are some basic difference so you can choose according to your requirement and here you can choose the transport which is pretty clear and endpoint as of now we have not created any alias so we will select this alias as empty so it will add fault alias and here we can see that the target namespace is this and here we will keep rest things as default now we'll say finish so here we can see that the operation so here we can expand this and we can see what we have in request like list of countries and in response we can see that here body country set we will see all these things binder handler and policies in our next session in wsdl tab here we can see it automate is automatically created the wsdl so now here we can go to the operation and here we can see the wsdl url so we can copy simply this and we will test in soap ui so go to your soap ui and here paste your wsdl url and click ok so here it will automatically create the request and create a request for you so here we can see that so as uh, this is expecting a list of countries so let's say we will put india and now we'll run this service oh we we have got an error okay so by default it will take the authorization so we have to add a basic authentication so here we will put our is credentials and now we'll try to run this and here we can see we got the expected result it added the double quotes and the comma so this way we can create the provider web service descriptor by using existing is service now we will create provider web service descriptor using wsdl i click on this and we'll create a new web service descriptor let's say demo wsdl wsd now here this time we will select wsdl click next and here we'll so for a demo purpose i have first one pre wsdl calculator wsdl and we will see i will copy this url and then we'll Put the wsdl name here and we'll keep all the things as default click next 
select the namespace and finish so here we can see that the code has automatically created operations with request and response and here it has added one more folder which in which we can see the doc types and schema and we can see the services so these services we can use while calling from the different services now the important thing is when we create a provider web service descriptor by using a WSDL then integration server only creates the skeleton of the web service descriptor so that means it has request and response here we can see that but it does not has logic so for example in services here we can see that add is empty divide is empty everything is empty so it has created the doc, uh, it has automatically created the doc types and the services so that we can use this services like add service divide service in a different integration service so to test this we have to add a logic so simply we'll add two numbers so here we have so we have mapped this and now we will test our uh, we will test this operation so for this we'll simply copy the wsdl url go to the soap ui we'll put it here click ok and as we have added a uh, logic only for the add operation so we will test this we'll put values here Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I forgot to add the authorization. So it would be administration. Now let's test this. So here we can see the result. And if we test different operations like divide, so it will give you nothing because we, we have not added a logic on this right see we have not got anything because we have not added the logic there so i hope you understand how we can create the provider web service descriptor by using existing is service and using the wsdl so if you have any doubt then please do let me know in the comment section and if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe thank you